Hello everyone, this is Lola again. Welcome back to my kitchen. So today we are going to be making a very easy breakfast recipe. This is called sweet potato hash. It's very easy to put together. My kids love it so much. I even give them to school and each time it's always a hit for them. So I'm going to go ahead now and show you how I put all this together. Of course, I've got my sweet potatoes and we are going to start from there. You can use any variety of sweet potatoes you want. So I'll just go ahead and peel everything. So you want to make sure you cut the potatoes into fairly equal sizes so that everything can get done at about the same time. I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick rinse. Then I'm going to drain it and set it aside. I'm going to be adding some olive oil inside my pan and any oil will work just as well. My oil is now hot. I'm going to go ahead and add my onions. Cook this until it becomes translucent. And this is going to take about two minutes or you know, a little more or less. Okay, now my onions are translucent and soft as you can see. I'm going to add my minced chicken. Today I'm using ground chicken. You can also use ground beef. You can even use sausage meat. It works just fine for this. So you want to go ahead and break this super fast. You don't want the meat to be too clumped up together. So be as fast as you can. Just go ahead, break it up. So as you can see, the meat is well separated. Nice. I'm adding my paprika, thyme, black pepper, and if you know me, you know I like my peppers, so this is cayenne pepper today. I'll be adding a little bit of that. If you don't like the heat, feel free to skip it. And finally, I'm going to be adding some salt to taste. Just continue to mix this until all the spices are well combined. Then, at this point, I'm just going to leave the meat to cook for about five minutes or till it's well done. As you all know, this is chicken I'm using today, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of water. If you are using ground beef, you might not need to add water at this point. Just leave it to cook. I'll just cover this up and I'll be leaving it to cook for five minutes or till the water is dried up. Now, can you hear that sizzle? Yeah, my ground chicken is all done. I'm going to take it out of my pan and set it aside. This is another two tablespoons of olive oil. We want that really nice and hot. I'll go ahead and add my potatoes, paprika, salt, and black pepper. We mix everything together until the spices coat all the potatoes. So now, as you can see, it looks as if the pan is overfilled. It's okay, don't worry. We are going to be stirring this about every two minutes or thereabouts. All the potatoes are going to get done. And it's okay if you want to use a larger pot, it's fine. But trust me, this is going to work. And also, in between the cooking process, if you discover that the oil is getting too low, feel free to add an additional one or two tablespoons. So I'll just go ahead and cover this. I still have more oil in this, so I think I'm okay with that. So cover it again and we come back in two minutes. So while my potatoes are cooking, I'm going to cut my bell peppers. I'm using the green, red and yellow bell peppers today. Feel free to use, you know, any color or any variety of peppers you want to use. Okay guys, this has been cooking for about eight minutes now. As you can see, it's almost ready. So at this point, I like to add my veggies because I also like the veggies to, you know, cook a little bit. You don't want them like really raw inside the potatoes. So I'm just going to leave this to cook again for another, you know, two to four minutes and the potatoes will be fully cooked by that time. Now look at this, this is looking really beautiful and it smells really good in here. And trust me, it tastes just as good. So finally, before we leave, I'm going to be adding my ground chicken that I made earlier. Stir that in. 
here we go guys this is how i make my breakfast sweet potato hash it's ready in less than 30 minutes i'm just adding my spring onions this is totally optional but you know i like that color that it gives so there we go guys this is all done i already dished mine and i served it together with some avocado that i cut into cubes so let's go ahead and give it a taste this is really really good honestly speaking you need to give this a try all the seasoning complements themselves very well and it came out beautifully nice and this is actually how it comes out each time i make it so that's it again for today thank you very much for spending your time with me and as usual all the details you need for this recipe can be found in the description box below if you make this recipe don't forget to tag me on instagram and i'll be happy to give you a shout out until next time, I'll talk to you shortly. Bye.